The most common root cause issue in PCOS is insulin resistance, but this can look different than what you've typically heard of. Usually think about things like prediabetes or type 2 diabetes, and this is true, these are both conditions that are associated with insulin resistance. However, there's a type of insulin resistance where your cells are still resistant to the signal from that insulin, but your body is still capable of making enough insulin, sometimes more than enough insulin. And this is actually what can lead to triggering a lot of those PCOS symptoms. Now this is very common in PCOS. We would call this hyperinsulinemia. This can make your lab work look somewhat normal on paper, especially if you're only getting basic lab, but nevertheless could be causing a lot of symptoms. If you have PCOS, you can safely assume that there is some form of insulin resistance going on, even if it's not maybe your main driver. It still doesn't hurt to eat a healthy whole foods diet and adding 20 grams of protein to everything you eat is the first step that I would take. This is something that I did way back when I was first diagnosed with PCOS and absolutely was a life changer. I stopped feeling like I had to snack all the time. My energy was a lot more stable and I stopped dealing with low blood sugar episodes.